Today, I want to take a step back and look at the overall cryptocurrency market. Look at the big picture, right? I really feel that there's going to be use cases for cryptocurrency and blockchain moving forward. This technology is definitely groundbreaking. I feel that it is going to have the same momentum and impact as the internet did when it launched back in 2000. And so we're going to see a lot of that utility take place. We're seeing a lot of testing going on. And so that is what I want to focus on today. And so we have Bitcoin currently trading right around $60,000. And so we did have a bit of a pullback here after reaching about $64,000. And we are back to that support level right around $60,000. And so I am expecting this to hold here. However, if we do start falling down here, I'd be looking at a fifty-two dollars to $53,000 support level. However, I do expect this to hold here, and so that's something definitely to be paying attention to, especially with the Ethereum ETF now going live on July 15th, and so that was released earlier today, and so that's something else that could be at very bullish momentum to the cryptocurrency markets. And so let's go ahead and take a look at some other news here that was released for Ripple. And so they have announced that their Try It feature in the Ripple Payments API documentation lets developers test API requests in real time without logging in or using real funds and so this is now available they can use the lightweight testing tool and so this is huge this is what is going to create adoption in the cryptocurrency space and so apis here is what is focusing on utility and the payment infrastructure and so we know that ripple is going to add a lot of utility right they've been in a lawsuit for a very long time i have personally been in cryptocurrency since 2017 I have seen Bitcoin go from $1,000 to $20,000, pull all the way back down to $2,000, then can go up to $67,000, then we pulled back to around $12,000, right? And, and so cryptocurrencies have a lot of fluctuation in the price, and so I'm not surprised when I see some of these altcoins pulling back 50, 80, 90%. I'm using that as an opportunity to continue to accumulate some of these positions. And some of those other cryptocurrencies that I'm talking about are here, right? All these cryptocurrencies have some type of utility moving forward. We have XRP, we have Chainlink, focusing on interoperability. We have Stellar here, focusing on the payment industry with XRP. We have HBAR, we have Algorand, we have QNT, working with the BIS. And so many of these cryptocurrencies have been around for a very long time, since 2015, 2017, maybe earlier than that. And they've been working with institutions to continue to develop and test the blockchain. And so we have XDC here, focusing on the trade network. We have Telcoin and Velo, both focusing on the payment industry. And so let's go ahead and take a look at some news here, right? We have Quant collaborating with the BIS and the Bank of England on Project Rosalind. Right, and so if there was no utility, we would not see huge institutions like this, right? BIS and the Bank of England working with Quant, right? Now, another example, we have Telcoin here focusing on the payment industry. They are making sure that they're compliant and regulation focused company in Web3. And so they passed a bill about two years ago, LB649, to become the first digital asset bank in Nebraska. And so I still believe that this is coming. They are definitely working on finalizing that. And once it has been finalized, this is going to be the first digital asset bank in the United States. We have Chainlink here that has been working with the DTCC. They have completed a pilot to accelerate fund tokenization with JP Morgan, Templeton, BNY Mellon participating together for tokenization. Right again, we have some very large names here. JP Morgan that's been very against cryptocurrencies um, for five years, right? And then they opened up and now they're getting involved with Bitcoin. They're doing testing here with Chainlink. And so that just shows that there's a lot of interest in altcoins and utility. There's going to be use cases for this. There's going to be benefits to using cryptocurrencies and blockchain. If we take a look at this here, we have Fidelity tapping Chainlink for tokenized asset data. So again, another very large institution getting involved with altcoins again for tokenized assets. Right, we have seen Larry Fink talk about tokenization of assets with BlackRock. This is going to be huge for cryptocurrencies. As I mentioned here, XDC Trade Network unveils unlimited free pilot program to digitize trade finance. And so again, this is going to advance the trade network. This is going to benefit um, something that we do today and make it better. And so why wouldn't we use this type of technology? We have the XDC Trade Network in collaboration with leading industry players, Trade Finex, SBI, XDC, APEC, Co Limited, and Trade Fintech Limited. 
They have announced groundbreaking pilot program. This initiative aims to empower businesses with cutting edge blockchain technology, revolutioning the way they conduct international trade. And so this eliminates a lot of the paperwork in the trade industry. And so that could have a big impact there as well. Now we have Quantas. Payments completes passporting of its EMI license in the European economic area. And so this is built on Algorand here. The passporting of the electronic money institution license in the European economic area allows Quantas payments to operate and offer electronic money services across the EEA member states. And so this process involves obtaining approval from the Dutch Central Bank. And so we can see they are working with the Dutch Central Bank to get approval to allow the licensing to take place, which is built on Algorand. We also have HBAR here that is focusing on real world asset tokenization. As I mentioned, uh, BlackRock is very bullish on tokenization. They believe that this is the future. And so there has been um, some rumors out there that BlackRock is working with Hedera. And so a lot of this is definitely taking place in the background. And I don't think that people realize that, right? Sometimes you see this news, you see one article, they don't want to come out and say that they are producing all these articles every week about their um, progress, how far they're coming, right? There's a, it's a very competitive space. And so if a company can utilize this software or blockchain to advance what they do today, they're definitely going to be looking into that. And so I believe that it is definitely taking place. And so I strongly believe that there's going to be utility and use cases for altcoins moving forward. Now, not every altcoin is going to do well, right? There is thousands, if not tens of thousands of different altcoins out there. There's many meme coins that have no value. However, people are buying those because it is very easy to flip them and make money. However, I'm focusing on coins with utility. I plan to hold on to a lot of these for a very long time, right? I have them on some type of cold storage device that I can hold these on safely. Now, am I going to take profits when it goes up? Absolutely. However, I'm going to be holding some of these positions for maybe 5, 10, 15 years. I definitely think we're in the very early stages of the internet with blockchain technology. And so I'm very excited for the future of cryptocurrencies. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe for future content. And as always, this is not financial advice. This is just my personal opinion. And if you're interested in signing up for a new exchange, there is a link underneath the video two weeks here. This is the platform that I am personally using. They have integrated trading view charts into their platform, which makes it very easy to use. Thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next video.